of the airplanes. They've got one upstairs, but there was another. This was done. The you'll hear a less horn. Um, this one narrates part of this. So, because the military, we got this from the Navy at, what is it, Pax Poxuano, Pax the naval base up there. They had it, for some reason, they had it in their archives. Uh, there is sound on this, but they give me a sound machine. Can you turn these other lights on? Yeah, let me turn this The film's dark, but it's called Taking a Night Away from Charlie. And, Basically, you can see it's nighttime, and you can see them shooting, and things like that. Helicopters, there's the noise. Um, you know, these all the things, and you've got... They're just, they're just saying... They're just, yeah, I told you, it's on the door. Yeah, they're just basically reiterating... If you want to go over and sit closer over here, you can hear, here's the uh, Schweizer glider. The SGS 232 that they based the airplane off of. And of course, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a glider. The Rio 3 is no longer a glider. And this is the prototype. It was the QT2 QT plane. And uh, I believe that's Horn's flying that thing. I'm not sure who took that picture. There's some tufts on it. Um, or at least Les said he was flying it. Um, See that, that pile on the front. There was some thought, and a proposal was made. Why don't we just make a bunch of these up, and they're as easy to take care of as a Lambretta, and we'll just let the South Vietnamese Army fly them, you know? But no money in doing that, so that's why they're going to head with them. The thing. They're in Sock Train. They were stationed there in the South, down in the Delta, and it's 1968, right during Tet. And if anybody knows about Tet, that's when uh, North Vietnam, Vietnam tried to finish this off over there but they they didn't. This is uh this is the QT2 and they call us in the prize crew. They painted the airplane and made it possible to put um, an ocular out in through the back of the through the front of the airplane, back of the airplane. Again this is Lockheed trying to simulate you can see like trying to simulate a, a night flight of a, a Y03A. I've been trying to talk NASA into doing that. I want to get some temper, you know, to paint Hollywood uses, take their airplane, paint it up, put a styrofoam ball, ball on the bottom, and we go out at night because we've got the ability to photograph at night. We could photograph that thing flying around. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. uh, in fact, it was interesting is the, um, at one point along the line, uh, uh, Disney, Disney Engineering contacted me. And, <coughs> Uh, they were interested in how we made a quiet airplane, and I signed this thing that said I wasn't supposed to tell what, what they're doing, but I, the engineer basically said they, they what they were going to do is going to make a, a dragon fly silently in this movie, and not animated, it was going to be a real dragon fly. So I don't know, I think they scrapped that plan. This is the, the test platform. A guy in Leewood, Kansas right now is restoring this to flight status. And he's got one of the uh, crew chiefs that worked on this thing, and you probably know him, uh, helping him out. They built these things right over here in Menlo Park. This is where they assembled the initial did the initial assembly in the park. The uh, the building is there's a fence around it now, and it's a, a toxic cleanup site. <laughs> I, I located. It. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I have seen them raw. So anyway, here we go. We got this. Again, some rare footage of the airplane, and uh, this is where they did the sound testing on it, out in the, uh, is that Crow's Landing? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. They also did tests with the airplanes where they blindfold the Army guys and the, and the uh, soldiers, and the plane would fly, and then they'd push a button as soon as they heard the airplane. Those other stuff, but you can see this is... Is that the one maybe? Yeah. It's pretty quiet. It's a slow flying. That's its speed right there. You can see the... You can 
can see the cars passing in on that road down there. <laughs> I, I, think that, I think that car could go faster than a plane. A car could go faster than a plane. Yeah, it'd be fast, fast, pretty funny. It's about true. If you've ever, if you guys know anything about that Russian plane, the uh, Antonov, the A and two, that big bi-wing, well, they've got one down at Cable that they they have down there, and we take that and fly it every once in a while. And we were headed up to an air show, and we, as we were flying, the wind was in our face, and of course, of course, we were looking down the freeway and we were watching the cars go, go passing this down rail. There is, you can see that nice wing spread. But this is one of we probably don't have a total of more than about eight minutes of this airplane flying to in total yeah, of any kind of film whatsoever. And it's in uh, Vietnam. Now, NASA was real nice. They did put together uh, uh, some pictures of their airplane flying for us, but it's not quite the same thing as seeing the, the stuff uh, from the Vietnam era. Manny. Yeah. Oh, I have someone here I want you to meet. Uh, Manny, uh, come on up here a minute. Just real quick.